Okay, guys, we are back, and it's time for us to continue NHL 19 franchise mode with the LA Kings, and after a disappointing first round exit to the Arizona Coyotes, we're here in the draft, the offseason, trying to make stuff better, and as you see the draft lottery results... The San Jose Sharks will have the first over, overall pick. And we have two firsts for this year and next year. So if the Dallas Stars do bad, we will have a good... Well, it looks like the Dallas Stars didn't do bad. They don't have a lottery pick. So they actually made the playoffs. So this year, probably not even a good year. So, Joe Thornton retired here. Patrice Bergeron, Jason Spezza, Justin Williams, Jeff Carter. He ended up as what? 80 overall. So, it, it ended up as a good trade for us because, because it, actually, it actually ended up as something, you know, the trade, you know, he actually dropped. Because that's what I was actually trying to do. Here by by trading it away, it was to actually because if he drops off, it's going to be harder. It's going to hard. It's going to be hard for me. It's going to be hard for me to to play him, not to trade him later on. So I was like, get him out right away, you know. So as you see here, as as you. See, as I said two episodes ago, I had a trade planned out at the draft, you know, so it was big, so, and it had, and it had to do with Braden Point, okay, so let's just, I said I was going to revisit a point trade, so Braden Point, yep. Oh, wait a sec. Ooh. Where's... Okay. Skaters matching the block. Braden Point is here. We will probably... They want to trade their first rounder from this year and last year. So, their 31st and their first. So, we will add it to the trade. And as you see here, we will trade... We have the 19th and the 16th. So we will trade uh, uh we will trade our fourth and our two sevenths. We will have to give up something though. So I will give up really something that will put is put the trade up to interest here. So as you see Bush, not Bushnevich, not Gunstrom. Well, Tessier and Bushnevich. Okay, so 2023 fourth, 2023 seventh. Yeah, 20, 7th from our uh, from Buffalo and the 7th rounder from 2023 that's ours for point the fir first over first first rounder from 2022 and first rounder from 2023 will this go through no it seems that our team was came in handy here however the value when you are asking us in Ruzi scout and it didn't meet our block needs particularly well after. So, let's take off both sevens and let's see if this go through. No. So, they wouldn't take that. So, uh, wait a sec, guys. Uh,. Can we see who's on their, like, their block, uh, their block surplus or not? 
maybe not so I think we would give something else okay something that will match Tampa Bay's Tampa Bay's uh matching their block like what they, what they actually want so let's just uh wait a sec Skaters matching block. And let's just add it up here. So, I think maybe point for just... Yeah, I think the value actually is worth something here. You know? So, the thing is that I wouldn't want to just make the value worse. So Bushnevich and and the third like second rounders I don't want to really pass on it. Looks like my backup controller going crazy. Sixth and the fifth, four points. Okay, so will this go through? No. But your scout assessment of your sign. I don't know what to do. Like honestly, I have no idea what to do. Maybe add a, uh, maybe add Georgiev into it. Maybe add uh, add him. Cause this will this go through? No. So maybe their their draft pick plus their first year. Will this go through? No. This? No. Like, honestly, I don't want to trade my whole team for him. You know? Because this would be just dumb. So, what, what do... Like, he wants all these guys. But I don't know what to do. Because... I don't want to trade any of these guys either. Like, they're young. So maybe we will have to sacrifice Walker. They're both. Maybe Stetcher put. I'll probably put him in here. And will this go through? Maybe a first from. for a few years? Because I have enough first now that I won't need any, like, I wouldn't need any first for, for next year. Will this go through? No. So, put in, take out, take out Stetcher. Him in the first? No. Take off the first here. This for point? No. So... Honestly, what I'm going to do here is just draft. And then we're going to take care of it, okay? Okay, so we have that medium elite. Irigo Pietrangelo. So let's just take him now. We have the 16th and the 19th. So it's good for now. We're going to see if there's uh, any the best potentials here. Let's pin these guys. Um, well, goalies have enough for the future. So, like, honestly, I don't need a goalie at that time. My goalie situation, my goaltender situation is already really good. So, so it's... It's good here, okay? We don't have any franchise players for this, uh, th this year, so it looks like... Also, I'm gonna look for gems. Yeah, there are, th there are gems here. They're probably going early, so... They're probably going at a time where... Okay, 42nd? I have the 47th, and they're going 42nd, so maybe, 
yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go to my pick now. See the option here. And is the guy good? Medium top four, and he's a gem. So this might end up being good. Defensive defenseman. So we will select him early so that he has to, so to be sure that I have him. To be sure that I have, I actually have him. So, yeah. Let's take uh, let's take a defensive D here. He's actually a medium elite, but not really because it's not it's not four bar. So let's take the elite here. Okay, user pick. Round five. Par. Par Lindholm? What? Okay, buddy. I don't know what is going on here. Isn't there already a Par Lindholm in this league? Like, it's literally pronounced. It's literally written the same. Bro, how. Okay. Let's let's take the elite here. Apparently, there isn't any franchise in this in this draft, so you know I will have to go for the elites because that's the best potential that's here. Low top six, probably going to be trade bait, maybe added to a trade, but other than that, nothing will happen. We'll just let's see if there's any better player. Okay. Medium elite sniper. Okay. Happy I didn't pass pass on him. Let's see if there's uh, anything better here. Oh, there's this medium elite goalie. So we took all the best potentials here. 70 what? Okay. There's still that el that elite center here, so why not him? Quentin Steffens. We have another seventh. Okay. So I I'll play it smart here. Okay. Like I won't sign any rookies unless unless they're good. Okay. Unless like. It's like the first and second rounder. I'm pro out of out of, out of all of these out of all of these rookies, I'm just going to sign three out of them. So let's advance. Okay, so as you see here we have Dylan Cozens. He actually grew during the season, so why not? I don't want anyone I really don't want anyone any team to actually be buying him out so what I will do is just offer him what he wants like I don't know if it's going to end up good but let's see okay uh, Nemesnikov okay these guys are aging I'm going to release you Zikov I'm going to release you Amadio, uh, I'm going to release you. McDermid, probably going to need you for for HL call up, so why not just give you a two year? Osterley, release you. Rample, he does not want to come back, so I'm just not even going to waste my time on you. I'm going to release all these guys so that I will have some space for other players. Okay. I need some roster spot. Okay. So, Essimont, I'll qualify you. Uh, Lizot, I'm going to just qualify you. I'm not going to offer something, okay? Not offering anything. Yeah, I'm going to offer you another three years. Probably wasn't even signed. So, uh, you guys... Do I actually... I'm just going to leave you unsigned. Uh, yeah, bro. He's an elite, so... 
I'm going to actually have to sign him. But other than that, you guys are just HL bottom. Like, these are just bad picks. Well, it's probably 7th rounders, so it just won't, won't even serve me anything. But, you know. I don't know if, if something's going to happen to them. But, you know. We have to save some money for for actually, you know. I have to save, save some money for Hagman because he's going to have to get paid. Eh, even Seth Shurkin, look. As you see here, Seth Shurkin wants to get paid. So, I'm giving you what you want. Morosa, uh, Medium French starter at 19, 64 overall. I will have to just sign you because you're... You're not even bad. You're just... Like, at 1964 overall, you... Maybe in the next three years, you, you may be a... Uh, in the 70s. High 70s, even. Goalies in the system. Do we have... Uh, does someone need to be signed? No. Okay, so... Leave you... Leave the rest unsigned. So, talking about I have to save money for the future. Is that, look. Cozens... Cozens just got paid. Uh, main roster, yes. Well, that it's already done. Like, I won't have to pay him for, like, the rest of the franchise mode. Hagman will have to get paid in next year. So, he'll need an extension. So, yeah. Carlson, in two years. Cousins, he's been offered. Let's see. Niku will have to get paid, too. So, there's young guys who will have to get paid. Vector Mete will have to get paid. Uh, Peeling will have to get paid? No. Okay, I already paid him. Pedersen in two years. So as you see here, we have we have some young players who I will have to pay. So let's advance to the to the free agency and see the off and see the response of all the players. As you see here, McDermott accepted. Just your can accept it, okay. Corp, okay. He doesn't, okay. Just not, just no. Kapitanov, okay. Yokinen accepted. Bianconi accepted. Kozen accepted. Lairback accepted. Moroza rejected, okay. So let's see our roster room here. We have four more players, so, okay. So, who's expiring? Whose contract is actually expiring? Uh, okay, nothing. So, yeah. Goalies. Moroza. He does... Okay, like, honestly. You have to sign. You know, so... Let's see the answers. Um, these are scouts. I resign. Corp doesn't want full roster. Are you actually kidding me? Okay. So this is pretty disappointing here. As you see here, Lizot and Esimont accepted. So how many roster spots do we have? Okay, so two two more players. Continue. So let's go to the free agency. Why not? Okay, guys. So first, before we get to it, we will make a trade here. We will trade Frederick Gauthier to a team. Because honestly, it's been a disappointment. We need to clear some roster spots. So what we'll do is trade him for for a fifth. Yeah, a fifth. Let's see if this goes through. No, it doesn't. So he like I'm trying to clear a roster spot, but it won't even go through. So I have to take a seven because his value is that low. So. Who, like, we can clear some roster spots here right now. 
just to you know because there's some old players in the AHL squad who I could maybe replace and nothing happens you know so Obi Kubel I will need him for uh, for something so I'm not going to not going to give him away and nothing nothing here okay so I think that's done we will have some defensemen coming up so what we will do here you guys have been waiting for that I literally I think I even spoiled it for you guys so as you see did did Braden point sign because I just hope not. Okay, because if he did, no, he didn't. And in the free agency, he wants, he wants nine point nine mil. But do you think I'm actually going to? Oh, okay. He has zero value, but he's still going to. And they, they even, they've even set their, their trading block. So, so what we will do here to get one, we have to give one. So we will get Kopitar involved in it because he will drop off Gunstrom. No, not Grunstrom, not him. Bushnevich. And a kill Thomas, no. Uh, who can we put into it? Yeah, Marcotti, we will put him in there. Will this go through? They don't even want Kopitar. Will this go through? So, what do they want? What does. Uh... Wait a sec. Let's see. Let's see what Vancouver... First of all, I'm going to just take... I accidentally pressed on it, but... Why not just take care of that before... Because I, I don't want to be requested first rounders. That I just don't want to trade. So, Tampa... That's who they want to trade. But what do they want? They want a goalie. A starting goalie. 85 overall. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm not even... What overall? Okay. So... I think they want... They might want a goalie. So... Let's see... Yeah, starter... Yeah, okay. So they want a... Yeah... They want the starter here. So let's just give give them the starter. And we'll it won't go through. Let, let's make them re, uh, retain salary because I'm not taking that whole contract even if it's four point because that is just no use taking taking out such a tremendous contract. Let's see if this no nah, that's exactly what I what I thought but okay let's give him the let, let's give him a first I'm not giving I'm not giving my first for okay so corporate corporate and a first from 2028 for point so will this go through Tampa Bay told you I'm going to give up what you're, you're asking. I'm going to really make it worth our wall. I don't think you have. The value of what you're asking to, us to take it just isn't. But what you want is actually. What? Okay, you know what? Like, honestly, I don't know what you guys want. Okay? Uh, wait a sec. Skaters matching the block. These are the people you guys want. These are the actual people you guys want. Pretty interesting that you guys want these guys. When it might even not even happen. 
But if you guys want them, oh, wait a sec. Like, I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to trade a first rounder. I'm not trading you. You, you're what? Six rounder. So. I might as well sign points. Po point is 26, so he will be an RFA. But okay. So as you see here, the free agency. There is going to be there is going to be some. Let's see who has the best potential. Are you actually care? Are you actually serious? But honestly. I don't know what's with Braden Point. He just doesn't want to. S he's not. He's in. He's still an RFA. He's still. Wait a sec. Is he? Is he? Wait a sec. Is Point in RFA? Because uh. Uh. Wait a sec. L let's see uh, here. Did they finally sign Point? Like I was, I was actually scared this would happen. Oh my God! Okay, so they re-signed him. So this, th this is pretty bad here. It's pretty bad. I would take up some some young players here. Okay, but not for much. Cap space seven mil. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I think, guys, I think it's time to do it. I think it's time to do it. Kopitar, Kopitar might be a good one here. Even William Carlson, but... We will have to trade up something. Okay, so what is the val? If they had Trade Finder already in the game, that would actually make things a lot more easier. Okay, so who Pittsburgh wants them, but they're a contender, so for sure. But what would I take here? Something very cheap, like someone who's actually capable of playing. Maybe Oli Mata. Not Zack Smith. No, thank you. Uh, I would like to have, like, maybe the same old, like, I would want to have the same, the same overall, like, an 83 center, but, but someone who's not, not really, not wasted at all. So we will give up, we will give up a pick here, okay? Like, honestly. We will give up a pick, maybe the second here, and let's just take a, let's take away a, not the Edmonton second because they wouldn't take it. This one, will this go through? No. So I'll try to trade Kopitar. Kopitar has two years left. Well, he retires in LA King. I don't think so. Like this is. But honestly, there's this. I'm not taking on that contract. So m why not straight up? It wouldn't make sense. It just wouldn't make sense to have this straight up. So a first tier. Oh my god. This is very tricky. I, I would want a defenseman here. I would want a defenseman. But is it worth... Oh my god. No. Uh, the things that matter... I don't know if... It, I'm not taking... If there's something that's happening, I'm not taking... I'm not taking out his contract. Probably not here. Okay. Like... Detroit. Never mind. Columbus. Okay. Put you into more salary cap hill. Uh. Sven Berchi. Um. 
Why are these decisions? Oh, look at the uh, <laughs> Alec Martinez, huh? Old ass kid. Probably you. And then you. But then take someone big here. Because that that's what I actually need. Josh Anderson, probably not. They don't have what I need. They don't have what I need here. That is what's up. Britain sad. Will this go through? Like honestly, what I want to do is just sal uh, salary dump, but it will be very ex extremely hard. Boston is under the cap, so maybe this might make it work here. This. I think it might and will. Dante Heinen. Okay. Maybe these two give up a first. Maybe give up the goalie here. And then this might go through with like a, another, another pick here. A second. Because I'm not going to ask for much. At that point, the price would be too high. No. So, will this... This won't go through alone. So, let's explore. Because, honestly, I need to reshape the roster. Oh, okay. So, they want... Uh, they want to give up every pick they have. Apparently. Bro, you're gonna joke with me. They have Jonathan Tays and Alex Ovechkin. This might be sick. Like, honestly. Give back here. Uh, Matt Niskanen. Honestly, I want to get older. So, this is a problem, too. The thing is that they're they're in salary cap hill, so I need to trade him to a team that has a lot of salary cap. Vegas will pro Vegas is our rival, so I I'm not going to I'm obviously just not going to give it. They have 11 mil of cap space, so it is what it is, guys. Rasmus Sandin maybe. Jeremy Bracco, I've been revisiting him, revisiting him, and it's been just like that. You know, so maybe this? No. So it's not. Toronto doesn't even want him. The thing is that not every East team wants him. So this is a this is a big problem, extremely big. Maybe a Neil Pionk and Charlie Coyle. Well, this. No, his value is too very high. So what we will do here, we will we will put him on the block. I don't know what to do, honestly. Put him on the block or just leave him, make him stay as a as an LA King because honestly, our team is getting better. There are players that are better than him now, and uh, yeah. We have to sign our free agents here. We have a. Uh, would have helped if uh, if we didn't have that two million dollar two million dollar uh, cap penalty. But you know, so let's try to sign some players here. We won't have a lot of space. Mm, okay. We need to get a very good player. Alex Kerfoot. I will give him a two year. I would give him a two year. Uh, 
But we need to concentrate on defense too. We need to concentrate on defense. It would be big to have Zabanajad. But also... We need to be careful with the cap. Okay? If we want to sign all our players, it had to... We will have to take... We will have to be careful here. This is an offer sheet. We don't even have the picks. We, we don't have the compensation here. So this is the problem. A big one. We will need a center for the future. So let's just search for centers. Andrew Kopp. Um, maybe even... Even... Even Barbashev wouldn't be bad. Four point. Okay, I don't know why his salary is just going up like that. Like, what? Like, I would just give him a four million contract for. He might be an RFA. Three point seven. No teams are interested in him, so it might go through. You know? Okay, so Kerfrog decided to go to Minnesota. <sighs> Bro, like, I'm not gonna overpay you. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to overpay you. I'm not, like, I'm not dumb to do this. Do it. Like, it's big risk. Big risk taken here. So this is the thing here. Let's see our... We will have to make a trade to refresh the roster. We will have to. Or else we cannot sign a free agent. We cannot sign a single free agent in this, on this team. And we will have to pay some players here. Maybe William Carlson. People will have to go. This is... Dylan Cozens, his contract is okay. But 7.5. What has he done in the past few seasons? Oh, okay. He's actually been he's actually been our best player. So Anze Kopitar, this is the really this is really bad contract we see here. For us. And it will it will probably end up end up bad. You know, so we want to get younger at the same time. Ooh, Jakobs Boril. Jakobs Boril. It might go through here at that point. But I would need a center. I. But one thing. I want a center to actually. Alexander Kovalev. Oh my god. These, uh, <laughs> this is pretty funny. Michael Dalco could maybe put him into a trade. This might even go through. Okay. Oh. Will this go through? Might not even. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I just don't know what to do here. We will have... To, I want the defenseman here. I want the... Like, it looks like I should have traded him, traded him for... I should have traded him... Way sooner. Than that. Like, I think I've taken too much time. This might... The thing is that with... Beauvillier, it will go good. It will go through, but you know we will have to like Kopitar. You know I will have to rethink about it for a second. No, you know guys, I'm going to rethink about it and d and then go through the league and then see what is going on. Okay. Okay, guys. So, I revisited Boston. And I think that 
I've been thinking a little. We have two. We have a lot of centers on on this team, and there's a lot that are taking over. There's Lundell, uh, Cousins. There's a lot, and there's even Carlson. And then I, and then I'm like, there there isn't going to be any more space for Kopitar on the team anymore. If we want to make a cup run, okay? So, what we need the most is a defenseman. So, maybe if we trade for this guy, Vakaninen, straight up, that 23-year-old, medium top four, two-way defender. Maybe uh, add a pick, but like not... Maybe like a fourth, so that it doesn't hurt anything. And, you know, it just goes through. As you know. Okay, so maybe trade trade someone else here. Like, what I want is just trade, trade both sevens here. And then for 2028, we will be a good team in 2028. And we all know that. We will add a pick here. Maybe add another player. Maybe. Maybe a fourth and a fifth. This might. I think it will go through. Maybe add another player. Maybe add a, a roster player. Maybe him. Who's that? Cameron Hughes. Will this go through? No. So they still they don't want to take his contract. This is the problem here. So maybe re there's two more years left. Maybe retain. I won't retain half of it. Okay, like I just this won't go through. We see I'm trying to change the salaries of promo, but Boston is still not willing to accept the deal. Take off the seventh. Okay, take off the, f not take off Vakaninen, because that's what we still want. Maybe Jacob for his backup, even, like, honestly, are you actually sure that these two, based on our offer with Phil, we didn't, we think you were to take the contract of, you have plenty of cap space. You guys have plenty of cap space. Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god. Like, are you kidding me? We literally ha You guys literally have... A lot of cap space. Like, I still understand why... Why this wouldn't go through. Even if... There's a lot of cap space... On your thing, you can trade. You can trade for bad contracts, and ship him, ship him away after that. Like I still don't understand. Jo Joel Farabi, Jacobs Boru. Will this go through? No. Farabi. No. Nah, okay, they're they're in salary cap hell. The Islanders I've revisited a million times. I still don't know if this might go, if any of these offers will go through. So, I don't know. Wait a sec. I have Alex Turcotte. I don't know if anything. Okay. Trade for these three. Will this go through? No. Like, no one wants his contract. No one wants his contract. Not even if I retain half the salary of it. Because one thing, guys. If, honestly, oh my god. I don't know what to do about this. You know? I don't know what to do. If we trade Kopitar, we will have nothing. But... Honestly, oh uh, my god. 
No. The thing is that I want to sign my free agents. I don't want to trade Carlson because he's younger. I wouldn't want to trade any of these guys. But we have to... Ref we have to... We have to reshape the roster. There's Morgan Frost there. Yeah, okay, so no. We will see. But we will need a defenseman. That's what we actually need. We need a defenseman. No matter what it is, we just need one. Team's interested. Five. Joel Edmondson normally is pretty... Sebastian Aho. This might be interesting. Nah, I'm giving you one year. Ah, uh, one mil. We'll just take these, uh, these deaf defensemen. Because honestly, our defensive problems are not big anymore because of, uh... They're not big anymore because of, uh... A Victor Mete. We, we, we've solved it. Okay. But. Honestly. We will need. We will need something. Is there. Is there a better D here. There's this guy. D'Angelo. I'm not. I don't know why. I don't know why you want 2.2. .2. Even though. I'm giving you one. One mil. Because. You're barely. Like, no, I'm not giving you, I'm not giving you 2.4. Like, what is that? No need to justify it. You're just not, you're just not a 2.4 guy. Okay? And that just, it's okay. But don't ask for 2.4. Because it's not gonna happen. Okay, so, we have some death here. All we do is just have some death. Alexander for uh, Fortin, okay. Yeah, look, this is a good offer. 80 overall, he's asking for 1.3, okay? This is good. And, uh, if nothing happens, there's Miko Koivu there. There's Dylan Sakura. But other than that, that's good. There's Eric Stahl too, but old ass Eric Stahl. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know what you want from my prospect, but... Just make this go through, or else just get out of my face. Because I'm not willing to trade any prospects that I just drafted. Okay, D'Angelo. Okay. Sebastian Nao accepted. Fortin accepted. You know, like next episode, I'll decide if if I if I trade Kopitar. We will see the core here. We will see. I'll just show you guys. I will show the core. Uh, do we have do we have any players we even sign? Oh, wait a sec. Okay, yes. We need to we need to fill up that that spot. Oh my god, D'Angelo wants 2.3. Uh, if he wants 2.3 for two years... Okay, I'll just give him. No teams are interested in him. I don't know why am I going to just F up his, his offer. You know. But like, what really annoyed me is the fact that when I just re went from two years to one year, he upped his price. You know. So... Welcome to the team, D'Angelo. Happy you accepted this offer. You know, so let's simulate to the to the end to to the season. Why not? As you see here, a little overview of the of the lines. As you see here again, we don't have any space for Kopitar. This is the thing here. We don't have any space for him. So next episode, I'll let you guys decide because. Kopitar has no space, and he has a pretty bad contract for two other years. But I'm not willing to take to take on that contract for the next two years. When I'm when I'm going for a cup run, I'm not doing this. You know. So yeah. 
I see your little overview Connor Carrick. I don't know why he's here over Stetcher and Walker, but I'm not even going to touch it. Because I don't care for now. It's the preseason. I'm like the rookies are I'm bringing the rookies up so that they could play, you know? And it might be a good I think I'll do uh I'll do it off camera. I am going to sign uh I'm going to sign uh the first round picks. To just see him play, okay? Or maybe just look at the look at the contracts and then just see see the players here. Uh unsigned. Okay, where is he? Yeah, like I think they will have to be where does he play? WHL. He has 75 points. Petrangelo, our 16th. Uh, and I think it's... Yeah, it's Sure, I think, right? Yeah, it's him. Yeah, so... What has he done in his... Uh, 17 points in 62 games. So, I'll let them unsigned. And then, when they get scouted... That's when... That's when I'm going to see their... If I'm going to sign them for the next few years. But you know. Honestly, we have five five mil of cap space. We can make we can maybe even make a, a free agent signing here. In the beginning of the year. But honestly. Is there something here? There's Andriov, Barclay Goodrow, there's Eric Stahl. I think our problem with the team, like last year, it was maybe because our team was too young. It was too young, you know. Our team is just very young. As you see here, let's look at the thing here. At uh, at at everything. Okay, Dowdy. Other than Dowdy and Kopitar, Dowdy's still good. Like. 29, 23, 25, 23, 21, 20, 24. So it's a pretty young 27. Like, either, other than Kopitar and Dowdy, Dowdy is even in his prime. Other than Kopitar, every other player is either in their prime or still in their in their early 20s. You know? Bushnev has just started his prime. Let's see the goalies here. Chest Yorkin. I'm looking forward to Lukanen to actually go up big. That's what I'm actually expecting here. You know? So, let's see the lines here. Sulzer, D'Angelo. I'm expecting big from, from, from these guys. Look at our defensive core. This is big. They're, they're already... All of them are ready to make a jump to the NHL. Especially Sulzer. Where's that, uh... That other guy? Wait a sec. Where is he? Wait a sec. Is he unsigned? Because if he is, okay. Or maybe he's in the... Maybe he's in the roster. He's in the NHL roster. Wait a sec, defenseman. Maybe he's unsigned. Let's see. No, he's not. In the system. Yeah, Jeffrey David. He's he's actually very good. 16th overall pick. You know? He's at he has some pretty good stats. Look at his speed. 89 speed, 88 acceleration, 88 agility, 82 balance, 84 endurance, 87 wrist shot. So he has a good wrist shot, but his slap shot could be better. Discipline could be better. His passing could maybe be better. And uh, he's, an, he's an offensive defenseman. He's not really physical, but okay. But 
he will be something good. Okay, we we just like in this franchise, the whole story of this franchise is just having multiple first rounders, being able to trade and these extra picks just to stack up the prospect pool more and more and more. You know, so yeah guys, let's end the episode here. Subscribe if you're new, click the like button, comment down below if I should trade Anze Kopitar, and if yes, give me the value. Like, give me what I should, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.